Hey everybody, welcome to the 8th episode of PeopleSwap interview series by PeopleSwap channel. In today's episode, we are back with another technical interview questions about application engine. And the question for today is, explain the difference between exit 0 and exit 1 statements in application engine program. So this is one of the most frequently asked technical interview question to taste your application engine knowledge. In today's episode, we will study the use of exit statement as well as the difference between exit zero and exit one statements. And finally, we will go through a live demo so that we will have a better understanding of these concepts. I hope you are excited to learn and Without further delay, let's get started. So before we discuss the differences between exit zero and exit one statement, let's understand what exactly is an exit statement in people code application engine programs. Well, Exit is a people code statement which is used to stop the execution of current people code actions in AEP and it is also one of the branching constructs in application engine program. Well, don't worry, we will see a good example so that we can understand the branching concept as well as the exit statements. So let me show you one example. Let's say we have application engine with section one and we have step one, it has two actions. Now action two is a dynamic call section. Well, similar to exit statements, dynamic call section is also a branching construct because based upon the programming logic, the action two in this case can call section 2 or section 3 or section 4. So as you can see, we have logical branch-like structures created and based upon this branches, the flow of execution will go from action 2 to one of the possible sections. That's why dynamic call section is also a branching construct. Now let's say we have section 5 and then we have step one with two actions and step two with another action. Let's say we are at step one, action one. It's a people code action, let's say 59th of PP code. And we are executing the people code line by line. Now we are at line number 30 and we encounter some programming logic based upon which we need to stop the execution of the program at line number 30. We do not want to go to line number 31 and continue the execution. Well, how can we achieve this? We can achieve this by writing the exit statement in people code at line number 30. So that is the use of exit statement using exit statements in people core in application engine actions you can stop the execution of your current people code program that's exit statement now we have two types of exit statements available first one is exit zero and then we have exit one both are responsible or both have the capabilities to stop the execution of current people code program. That's the similarity between them. Now the question is, what is the difference between exit zero and exit one? Well, the difference lies in the fact that after you terminate the execution of program at action one, where does the flow of execution should go next? For example, let's say after you stop the execution, you want the flow of execution to go to next action in the same step. That means you are just skipping the current people code action and moving to the next action if available in the same step. If that is your requirement, then you can achieve this using exit zero. So what is exit zero? 
Exit 0 allows you to skip your current people code action and move to the next set of available action in the same step. That's Exit 0. Now, how Exit 1 is different from Exit 0 is that it offers you three different scenarios compared to Exit 1. First, let's say that after you stop the execution at action 1, you want to skip the entire step 1 and then take the control directly to step 2. If that is your requirement, this is the first scenario which exit 1 can offer. The second scenario which exit 1 can offer you is, you stop the execution at action number 1 and then you not only skip the entire step, you skip the entire section in which your current action is present, which is section 5. So let's say section 1 called section 5, then you are in step 1 action 1, then you write exit 1 statement and your requirement is that the entire remaining section 5 should be skipped and your flow of execution should go back to section 1. If that is your requirement, you can achieve this using exit 1 statement. The third scenario which exit one can offer you is that let's say at some point you want to stop the action one and then you want to halt or abort the entire application engine program on this spot. If that is the requirement, then this is the third capability or third scenario which exit one can offer. So as you can see, the similarity between exit 0 and exit 1 statement, both of them stop the execution of your program. The difference lies in the fact that after you stop the execution, where does the flow of execution go next? And now it's time for the demo of exit 0 and exit 1 statements in application engine program. For this demo, we will be using this AEP and let's quickly understand how this program is working. We have main section which step 1 and which we have people code just to indicate that it is coming from main section step 1. And then we are calling section 1 which is present here. In the step 1 of section 1, we have people code. It will indicate that it's people code from step 1 and section 1. And then we are counting the number of inactive employees from this employee table. If we see the SQL for this particular table, then this is the table. And as of now, we have four inactive employees present. And then we will have message box saying some additional actions are being executed. As of now, we have commented this logic for exit statements and we will come back to this later. And then we have SQL action which will basically activate all the employees which are in inactivate status. Right now, as you can see, we have four of such employees. And then we have step two with people code which will say section one step two people code. So that's our application engine program and let's run the application engine program to see how it works. So let's execute our application engine program. This is our application engine program. Let's click on OK. And let's wait for the process to complete. This is our application engine program. The program is successful. Now let's check the logs. So as you can see, we started with the main section, which is here, and we executed step one, which is the people code action. Then from step one, action two, we executed the call section, which is from here. And then we call the section one. So Right now, we are at section 1. We moved from main section to section 1, and we are executing step 1 people code, which is this one. And as you can see, the SQL has been executed, which is this action here. And then 
we move to step 2 of the same section and then people code has been executed. If we go back to the message log, you can see main section, step 1, section 1, section 1, executing some additional actions which was present here and then section 1, step 2 and completed. So this was the default scenario in which all the actions were executed for a particular application engine. So let me remove the comments from this logic of exit statement. And if you see, this is the logic. Select count of employees where the effective status is inactive. And we are storing this information in this particular variable. If I check right now at this moment, let me run the select statement and all the employees are active. That means right now the count is zero. So the logic is if the count is zero, we should call exit zero. Otherwise, we should call exit one. So if we call exit zero, which will be case in this scenario, we should not see this message saying executing some additional actions here. And then what should happen is that the control should go to the next action and the next step. So we should not see this particular message because the flow of execution will stop here. So let's test this. Let me save the application engine program. And then let me run the application engine. If you see in our previous run, if we check the message log, we had this message coming says some executing additional actions but we expect that this should not be present in the latest run so let's wait for the program to complete it is completed let's go to details and in message law we cannot see the some executing additional actions message box because exit zero is executed successfully we can verify the c by checking the braces so let's open this trace file and as you can see we started with main section step one which is this one then we go to people code which is this action the next one was call section which is this action and we called section one and in section one step one we started with people code so if you can see section one step one we started with people code and here we directly move to the next action because we cannot see that particular people code message so that's how exit zero statement work now let's discuss about the exit one statement and we saw that we can have three different scenarios to take the flow of execution in exit one but the question is where we can configure these three scenarios. The answer lies in the action configuration. This is the people code action from which we have written the exit one statement. So if you see, we have this option called on the return. So right now we have three different options here. The first one is skip strip, that means when exit one will be executed here and this return auction is skipped step, then the entire remaining portion of the step one will be skipped and the flow will go to step two. Next, we have pre, that means the entire section one will be skipped and the flow will go back to main section because main called the section one. And the third option is about that means the entire application engine will be stopped. So let's see these three different scenarios. So let's say we want to skip step and then let's address the people code such as we go into this exit one logic. So for this particular scenario, let me set the count to one and save it so that this if condition we fail and we will go into else part and then exit one will be executed. So let me save the application engine program and then let me execute the application engine. If we close this, 
right now the expectations are that because this is skip step on written what should happen is that this sql action in step one should not be executed at all and after this people code we should directly see step two the program is successful now let's check the trace and this is the trace file so as you can see we started with main section step one people code which is main step one people code on this one then we use the call section we can see call section and then we are calling section one then we started executing section one step one people code which is this one and here we got exit one with skip step so the expectations were that sql action should not be executed and that's what we can see here you can see we have clearly uh, available the log message saying program skipping step due to non-zero return code from people code at this particular step we can no longer see the sql execution like how we saw here in this previous log files so that's how the first version of exit 01 works where we can skip this step now let's see the second version which is the break statement so i have changed this to break let me save it and then let me rerun the program let's wait for the program to complete process is completed now let's change the trace file and as you can see we started with main section step one people code main section step one people code here then we use the call section so we use the call section and we call section one then we started with section one step one people code we can see section one step one people code and then as we can see program breaking loop due to non-zero written code from people code at section one step one that means here so not only the program skip this step one but it also skip the step two that means it skipped the entire section one and that happened because we have written on written is equal to break and this is how we can skip the entire section using exit one statement now last but not the least we have the third option which is the about statement using exit one so let me select about statement here and then save the changes to the application engine and then let me execute the application engine one more time let's wait for the application engine program to complete and as you can see the program has failed this time so let's go to details let's go to message log and as you can see people code exit one aborted invoked by application engine at section one step one and why this happened because we had exit one statement and we have set up the on return abort function and that's why our program has failed with this log so that's how you can use exit zero and exit one statements to stop execution of your people code program and then based upon your requirement you can take back the flow of execution to a new direction so that's the end of today's episode and if you find this video helpful then please consider giving a like to this video and if you have some people of interesting interview questions which you would like to know more about then please share such questions to us using comments and we will try our best to create such videos for their explanations Thank you.